Hi, I'm Willie and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about PFSense and SNMP, so let's get to it. Alright, we've got our SNMP or our uh, PFSense box here, but first let's talk about what is SNMP. I'll put a link to this. I'll put a link to this down in the description. Uh, what is SNMP? Basic tutorial on NMs, MIBs, OIDs, traps, and agents. So SNMP is Simple Network Management Protocol and what it basically does is the way that we can pull information from devices and uh, we can do things like traffic, CPU, memory, you know, these, these types of things. Uh, if you saw my Libra NMS video you can use it to see if a device is actually you know online so uh, you can go over to this link that I'm going to paste to to get more information about SNMP what we're going to do is we're going to worry about having the uh, SNMP turned on on PFSense and then we're going to have a device to collect that information real quick one thing I do want to mention is that there are three versions of SNMP uh, version 1 sends everything in plain text so version 2 is a little bit of an improvement on version 1 uh, we still have plain text authentication um, and if you're pulling SNMP from inside your network you can do some things to mitigate this uh, some of the security but the fact is you're still sending things in plain text which means it's still very insecure so if somebody's sniffing your network they you know they can grab all that information uh, version 3 uh, is supposed to have better security, um, encryption, and things like that. Uh, you will notice that some of the devices that we work on don't support it in the GUI. So anyway, I'll put this link down in the description. You can go read more about SNMP. Let's take a look at it here. We're going to log into our PFSense box. Uh-oh. I was logged into it and walked away from the browser. There we go. We are obtaining our update status. Let's see if we've got any updates. And we are on the latest version. So we're going to go over to services and SNMP. And right here is where we enable the SNMP daemon. So we'll turn that on. Here we can um, fill out some information that we can pull about the device. Now, I was talking about how you can somewhat make this secure. It's not really secure, but uh, you don't want to leave it default because a lot of scripts, a lot of software will pull for the read string public. So we will just we will change this and this isn't going to make make it any more secure, but at least it's not default. And then we can enable traps, which is where we can send information. And if you go back over to this you can read about traps but basically traps are you know there's an event that happens so boom let's fire a notification so you have an interface go up or down boom you can fire a trap things like that um, here we're gonna leave the default modules on and for the uh, bind interface we will leave that on LAN or set it to the LAN and the changes have been applied successfully so now uh, before we collect information I do want to let you know that I did some research and it looks like PFSense is going to support version 3 of SNMP but it's not available in the version that we're running right now there's a pre-alpha version of PFSense and it's 2.4 and it looks like there is some SNMP version 3 support there's a little bit uh, of an issue that they're talking about increased memory consumption but it's not a problem with uh, modern hardware so uh, I will welcome SNMP version 3 when that comes out you want to um, try to get the the 2.4 pre alpha it is a, the snapshot is available so you could go out on a limb and you could you could probably figure out how to get that so um, what I did to pull information from this is I installed cacti and I'm not going to walk you through the whole process but it's very easy uh, on your Lubuntu, Ubuntu, Edge Ubuntu, whatever Ubuntu flavor you're running 
you're going to open the Synaptic Package Manager, search for Cacti. You'll select it. It'll tell you it's got a list of prerequisites, and then it will walk you through the installation. It will ask you for a MySQL password, and that's really all the interaction you'll have at the beginning. Then when you log into Cacti for the first time, uh, you will go to localhost slash Cacti, and it will load this screen. The username is admin. The password is Cacti. And we'll have to try this again. Okay, so now what we can do is we can create a device. And you can see that it's already got localhost. Let's add a device. We're going to call this PFSense Firewall. Host name will be 192.168.55.1 unless we were running DNS. Host template, we'll just do generic SNMP enabled host. One thread. Uh, down device detection is SNMP uptime, or we can tell it to ping it. So we could do that. Now, here's our SNMP options. We're on version 1. You can see it uses 1, 2, or 3. We're going to use 1. This will be PF sense. We left the default port the same. So we will... Um, you can enter some notes about the host, but we're going to go ahead and hit create. And it said, what did it say? UDP ping error timeout. Oh, we'll change this. We'll do ICMP ping. And then save. And now everything is good. So and then what we do is we create a graph. And then we select our host, which is PFSense. And now it's going to ask us, um, the type of graph that we want to create. So we can just do something like let's see generic template and we want to look at this interface and this interface and we'll select in out bits I'm not gonna really walk you through cacti too much I'm just gonna select some really generic options so uh, we may come back and do a cacti video later not sure about that it depends how much interest there is uh, I do use cacti along with some other um, polling tools in the real world but like I said we're not gonna get super um, super detailed here this is just to show you that we can pull this information so we'll go ahead and create title host description we're just gonna leave everything default we created our our graphs our test and I am pushing traffic through here so we can actually get some information on the graphs so we'll see it's We'll get some traffic here at the next polling interval. We could adjust the polling interval, but I've got a few minutes here. Okay, so I've been streaming a video in the background, and I did a couple speed tests. And so now we can... Uh, so we can see we've got a little, a little traffic on here now. So you can see that this is interface EM1, if you remember that. And you can see we've got inbound, current is 895k, uh, outbound is 3 meg. So you can play around with all the different graphs and stuff like that. But that's that's kind of the short and long of the types of things. You can see that uh, by default, by installing Cacti, that it does, it loads SNMP um, information for the host that this is running on. So here's memory usage, load average, logged in users, processes running. So there's a lot of information you can pull with SNMP. SNMP is not limited to Linux devices. You can enable it on Windows servers. You can enable it. Almost every device that I know of supports some sort of SNMP. I would prefer that it's SNMP version 3, but you know that's not always the case. So as we get into other devices, we will also look at the SNMP settings for those videos. 
I just want to say one thing real quick. I appreciate all of the email that everyone sends me. If I don't respond to you, please don't take it personally. I don't always have time to respond to all of the email. Sometimes it gets in the you know lost in my spam folder. Also, if you leave comments on the YouTube channel and it and they don't show up for some reason, I'm sorry about that. YouTube has some sort of automatic filters, so as I see those. Uh, sometimes I release those, but I just want to let you know I am not ignoring you. If you like the video, please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up. Please comment and share, and we'll see you in the next video.